Hi everyone, it's Karen from the Georgie Grandma. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a cherries haul for you. If you don't know what cherries is, uh, if you've never been on my channel before, if you've never heard of cherries, it is an online app um, where you can shop. And the things you can buy are a little bit like the things you would buy at Home Bargains, B&M, Poundland, things like that. I have ordered from Cherries before, they've kindly given me another £30 voucher and asked if I would share with you um, what I'd bought, so that's what I'm about to do. This is actually the fourth time I've started this video as I keep mucking it up and having to start again. So hopefully this take goes smoothly. Uh, I do have a 25% discount for anyone who hasn't bought from Cherries before and I have to stress it is only for first time orders. Uh, the discount code is Georgie Grandma 25 I will put it in the description box below. Uh, and you must spend £20 or more to be able to use the discount. So if you have used Cherries before to shop, uh, then unfortunately you won't be able to use the discount. But the, you know, the prices are, are, are so good anyway that it, it's well worth you having a look. So I'll just get straight in and show you what I bought. I'll just show you the box, just in case you want to know how it comes. This is how the cherries box arrives, um, so you can see the brand on it when it's delivered. It's well packaged. Uh, they've definitely improved the packaging over the last couple of years from the first time I bought it. The first time I got one, everything was just chucked in the box, no wrapping or anything. But um, now they, they really, they must have got a lot of complaints because they are really well packaged now. Um, there's lots of packaging in it and anything that is uh, breakable is also packaged as well. So it's mostly, I would say, Christmassy bits, maybe things you would, you know, stock and fillers, um, things you would have in your house around Christmas time. But anyway, I'll just get on with it. The first thing I bought was a calendar, a cat calendar, because I am cat mad. It's a 2023 calendar. Um, is all the cats that you can see on each page on the back. I just love cats. I, I mean, I do use a planner and a, you know a diary, but I do like to have a calendar just um, behind my desk so I can see the you know the month uh, without having to fiddle around for books. So the calendar, I do have the prices written down. I did spend thirty two pounds fifty one. Like I said, I got a voucher for thirty pound, but I did spend thirty two pounds fifty one. Um, the calendar was one pound sixty, uh, which will come in really useful. Next is some Thornton's chocolate pearls, because who doesn't want chocolates at Christmas? These are salted caramel sensation, smooth milk chocolate with a gooey salted caramel centre. Uh, and that is a pack of 167 grams. That would make a really nice little stock and fill up for someone. Um, or, you know, just to have in your, your Christmas sweetie box um, for to pick at over, over the Christmas period. And those were um, those were four pound. I also got some Cadbury's white jingly bells, <laughs> uh, little chocolate coated balls. Um, they are a pack of seventy two grams. I think I've had these before. They're kind of uh, crispy in the centre with a bit of a, a chocolate white chocolate filling. Um, the Cadbury's white chocolate balls were, they were a pound. Uh, Warren asked if he could have a look through and pick some things out. So I did let him do that. Um, and I have to say, he picked all sweet stuff. So these were something he picked. Um, a bag of Cadbury's animal biscuits. Now I'm not sure if these say with Freddo. I'm not sure if these are for him or for the grandchildren. <laughs> so, Cadbury's Animals. Um, there's seven small packs in there, which is always a good thing. 97 calories per pack, it says, if you're counting calories. And the Animal Biscuits were, they were only pound, so that wasn't bad value for those. Um, he also picked up these. <laughs> I think these are for him. And they are Pink Panther wafer mallows i think I, was, I remember these from years ago do you remember those i don't like them but he obviously does pink and white mallow wafer sandwich not artificial colors are flavors low and fat 12 pack 
wait at any time of day. Now I'm not sure if, because they're mallow, I'm not sure if they're suitable for vegetarians. I don't have my glasses on so I can't say, but I will put it in the description box below if I can find it. And the Pink Panther wafers were also a pound. Now the next thing was definitely me, I put these in, and it is a Jaffa Cakes Jaffa Hamper. I absolutely love Jaffa Cakes, can't buy them, I have to stay well clear of them because I, I would eat the whole packet, I'm a Jaffa Cake freak. Um, and as I'm diabetic, that's not a good thing. But I thought for Christmas, maybe I'll get a box and maybe I can kind of control myself and not have them all at once. But in here is, um, oh, you see, I haven't got my specs on. One second, put my specs on. That's better, I can see what I'm looking at. So in here is um, an original pack of Jaffa Cakes some orange and cranberry Jaffa cakes, uh, two Joe nuts, so they are Jaffa cake dough nuts. They sound good, they've got my, my name on them. And um, three Jaffa cake bars. So hopefully they, they will last at least a week once we've opened them. And the Jaffa cake, I think they were five pound for that pack, four pound 50, but definitely will be worth it. Um, I think I put this in. It could have been Warren. It is a Bailey's salted caramel milk chocolate bar. Who doesn't like a Bailey's at Christmas? Um, and add to that some Bailey's chocolate. Who can't say no? Um, and that was uh, a pound as well. I have a feeling that was Warren actually. I've only got a few things left. I didn't get a ton of stuff. I thought I would try these because these look quite interesting. And it's a pack of three tinted lip balms. It says Colour Quench. Um, and I thought I got those for me actually. So I don't know if you can see the colours in the bottom. They're quite nice colours and hopefully they're not too strong. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to open the pack and we'll have a look. Because they are for me, they're not a gift. Although you, you could give them as a stop and filler. I can never get into these flipping packs. Um, <clears throat> there you go, I'm in. So let's have a look. I wear a lot of lip balm um, and it, it would be nice to have some colour. So we've got a, a green one where the, the lip gloss isn't uh, green or all, but it's not. Um, it's got a green top on it is what I meant. So let's just have a look. So this one is a nice... That's a nice pinky colour. I don't know if you can see that very well. Nice pink. I'll do a swatch. It's not got a lot of colour to it. It's very, very thin, so that is nice for a lip balm. Um, you don't want no bright colour on a lip balm, I would imagine. This one's got some pineapples on the top, and this is a paler. This is a paler pink. The, new, the last one again I'm not sure how well you can see that on camera it is paler than the first one but it looks really nice and they actually feel really smooth going on and this is a oh, this is nice that's very Christmassy nice red one that was the color of the top of that that's a nice red lip balm so let's see what the red lip balm looks like can I get that on me I shouldn't have put it there on my hand should I yeah, you can definitely see the red. Yeah, those colours are really nice. They're, they're very, um, what, what was the word you would use? Faint? Neutral? Not neutral. Faint. You know what I mean anyway. But I do like those colours. They are really nice. Um, and like I said, the, the texture is really smooth. So they should work well as lip balms. So I'm quite, I'm quite impressed with those. We'll see how they last on my lips. Um, but so far, so good. And that was £2.50 for a pack of three. Uh, so I'm quite pleased with that so far. Next, I bought a pack of Beanie's Variety Pack. Now, I, if you've watched my channel before, I do like flavoured coffees. I don't put milk in coffee and I don't put sugar in coffee. So sometimes a flavoured coffee um, is nice to have. And this is a pack of, I think there's 12 in the pack. Am I right? Yeah, 12 flavoured 
coffee sachets. I'll just open them because it is for me, it's not for anybody else. You can see there um, the sachets that are in there. That one is chocolate orange, um, Irish cream. What else have we got? Cookie dough. Maple fudge. Oh, that sounds good. Maple fudge. Creamy caramel. Now that one is nice, creamy caramel. I have been buying the little jars of the flavoured coffee, but I find I'd built up about six or seven jars stock. Um, and I don't use them that often. So I thought the... Uh, I thought the little sachets might come in more handy and then I don't have to open the jar if I don't want to. They are vegan, um, don't contain any nuts, sugar free, low calorie. I do like Beanie's coffee and they were, they were £2 for the box. Next is something, this is definitely a stock and filler for my granddaughter and it is a Peppa Pig a little bath set. So it's a Peppa Pig camper van. It's got the suction cups on the back, so you could stick it on the on the shower tiles in your bathroom. And inside is a, a little bath puff, um, and it's got some. I think that's shower gel in there, not shower gel, bubble bath. And I think they stickers, stickers possibly. I'll just go and put my specs on so I can read to you what it says. It includes bath and shower gel, 150 mils, plus EVA, four EVA characters. I'm not sure what EVA means. Um, EVA numbers from 1 to 12 and an 80 centimetre bath puff. So the EVA characters, um, they must be stickers, I'm thinking. Where am I looking here? I'm thinking they must be stickers. But she'll love that anyway. She'll love the little camper van. She loves Peppa Pig. Um, and you know, she can she could keep other little bath toys in there as well. And the Peppa Pig was five pound, which I thought was quite good value. And lastly, is something I mentioned on my last cherries video that I wanted to get. Uh, so I decided to grab it this time. This was, I'm trying, it's quite well packaged, <laughs> um, well wrapped up. Can I get it open? Yes, I can. And it is, now I'm stuck to the packaging. <laughs> it is a tree trunk tree. I saw this the last time I put my order in and I didn't get it. Um, so I'm so pleased they still had it. That's really nice, very rustic. Just a little tree to put in the centre of your coffee table. You could put some pine cones in there, nice candle on it. Um, I just think that's lovely. That's really Christmassy. I suppose you could use it any time of the year, but that to me looks Christmassy. For the middle of my coffee table with some Christmassy bits on, I'm well pleased with that. That's quite heavy, that, and it's quite a nice size. I was thinking to myself, I didn't read the size, and I thought, oh, it's going to be absolutely tiny um, because it was £6.50. I'm thinking, I hope it's a nice size, and I'm really pleased with that, actually. I really like that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that is a, the, the wooden tree trunk tree. Really like that one. I just realised I'd missed out the window stickers I bought. Um, they were in with a, a slice of packaging, and I, I didn't even see them. So I also bought these glitter window stickers. I don't know if you can see them very well there. They are really pretty actually. They're very glittery and they're quite big. I got two packs of them. They were one pound twenty a pack and there's quite a few on there. I've got some French doors in our kitchen um, with glass panes in. So I think they look really nice on there. So that's the glittery window stickers as well. So that was everything I got from Cherries. Like I said, I spent £32.51 got there's like chalky something on on that and it's all over us now um so like i said if you haven't ordered from cherries before and you'd like to give it a try really good time um of the year to try it if you haven't tried it before you know they've got lots of christmasy bits on 
um, lots of Christmas decorations, some Christmas gifts, lots of Christmas food. Um, they've even got Christmas drink on there. So, sorry, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. So if you would like to try it and you haven't tried it before, if you use the discount code GEORGIEGRANDMA25, it will give you 25% off um, anything you spend. It will give you 25% off if you spend £20 or more and you've never bought from them before. I hope that makes sense. I'll put all of the details in the description box below. I don't know why that was such a struggle today. I just feel all tongue-tied and don't know what I'm talking about for some reason. I haven't been very well this week, so maybe that's why. So anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope you did enjoy it um, and I'll see you all again really soon. So... Bye for now.